Wait, did I... Was I able to save the things I wanted to save? I hope I was. Yes, I believe so. Ah, the courtyard. Okay, yeah, that's where I was at that last. Why am I hurt? I actually can't remember. Well, regardless of why I'm hurt... Let's fix... Let's remedy that, shall we? And we'll put you away... Alright, so. Oh, that wasn't enough. Shit. Ugh. Need another green! Another green! Let's get another green too, because I saw a blue nearby, and that way I can combine those two. Alright, so now we start the long, eh, not really that, eh, not really that long, trek back to where I need to go. To get, to, oh wait, no, maybe there's a, or maybe I can try to, is there anything I can use the fish hook for right now? I wonder. Let's go check that out real quick. Let's see. So, head back down this way. Get the fish hook and see if we can grab anything with it. I don't think so, though, because I think we need, like, string or something to... Or something, maybe. Hey, Taylor. Good to see ya. How you doing tonight? What was that? That's just a box. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where is that fish hook? Fish hook, yeah. Maybe I can do something with this. I, I don't actually know. Ah! Welcome, chat. Welcome. As I continue through the nightmare that is the Spencer Mansion and its absolutely gorgeous environs. That's, this is the way I want to go. Doing good, just playing some New World after a super long day of lectures. Oh, that does sound like really nice. I've heard New World's really fun. It's the it's Amazon's new um, MMO, right? There's a large scratch in the wall. It doesn't look like the work of some of these rotting freaks. Yeah, it's a ton of fun. There's a lot of scratch in the wall. Maybe I can use the fish hook for it? Or maybe it's a- ooh, maybe that's a combat knife thing. Yeah. Maybe that's a combat knife thing. Alright. Let's see. The water tank smells like something once lived there. Perhaps something was using it to raise some kind of creature. Not necessary to use this now. Okay. Yes, not. The mystery of this place eludes me still. Will you take the lure of a bee? A collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it. Nothing happens. Maybe it has something to do with the insect specimens. I can't carry any more. Ah, I see. Maybe. Lure of a bee. Examine. It's lure shaped like a bee. There's no hook on it. Well, we'll fix that now soon, won't we? There we go. Let's try this again now. Will you take the bee specimen? Well, yes. What sort of fishing lures. Let's put the fishing lure on here, then. Collection of insect specimens. I'm just switch underneath. Press it. Nothing happens. Maybe I said. Okay, so let's 
Use this, put this there. Push of insect specimens, there's a switch. Yes. Why, hello there! Oh god, it's a bee! Ah! A bee! Ah! Ah! Fuck you! Yeah, I would highly recommend New World. Very chill plus... Okay, I'll see. I'm not really big into MMOs, but we'll see. Also, I had to waste a bullet on a bee. Not cool, game. Will you take the Wind Crest? Ooh, what's this? Examine. The Wind Crest. There's an icon depicting wind. Oh, I think this might be for that area behind the stairs, maybe. I think there's an. I think that's for an area. Um, just, and it's like less that I don't like MMOs. I like MMOs. It's just that like I got burned on World of Warcraft because I just ended up wasting spending a lot of my time. And by the time I usually enter these games, uh, most of the people that I usually play these games with just are already, like, kind of done or taking a break from them. So it's, like, no point in me playing it if none of my friends are playing at the same time as I am. Like, that's not where I'm going to go. So the Wind Crest, I believe I know where that goes. Ah, uh, yeah, true, true. It's true. All right, so. All right. All right, you bastards, let's go. So I think I know where the wind crest goes, and I can put that in there. And hopefully it doesn't trigger some sort of continuation of the... Of the, um... Doesn't trigger new enemies showing up or anything like that. But I'm not trusting this game to not do something like that. Ah, come on. Come on, game. Don't be like that. Let's go behind. Ah, got camera angles are going to be the death of me. I know they are. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, God. God. Some of these menus are going to be bad. Annoying, too. There are octagonal indentations on the right and left door. Can I not put this in there? Maybe if I go over to this one? I apparently cannot do anything with these yet. You'd think I'd be able to, considering there's an indentation there. Left to the right of the door. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Those are that's hexagonal. That, that's a hexagonal one. I'm... I'm dumb. Well, anyway. Um... Guess I should go quickly to a storage room so I... Guess I should quickly go to a storage room so I can just drop that crust off. And hope I don't need it somewhere along the line because I don't have a lot of room to begin with. But look at all that green. That is beautiful. All of that lovely, lovely green. Meaning I've explored a lot of this floor to its fullest. There's only like a few places left that I haven't explored to their fullest. It's like this area, this, and this. This room up here still has something, but I don't know what. I can't get into this room just yet. This whole area... And then whatever else is on the third on the mansion third floor. Gotta love that ominous music. So yeah, fun fact for you, Taylor. This game, particularly Resident Evil 1, takes place only like a couple like a month or two before Resident Evil 2. This is the inc inciting incident that causes Chris to go on his quote unquote vacation in Europe. Come on. Yeah, so um, the first game takes place in the region around Raccoon City in the Spencer Mansion, and then this, and then the second game takes place in Raccoon City itself in the police department, and uh, this is like in July, and um, 
this game takes place in July, at the end of July. The second game takes pl and the third game both take place at, like, the end of September going into October, I believe, is, is what the timeline is. And uh, three is what was going on with Jill at the same time as two. Because Jill was in the city. Uh, Chris was not. But this is, like, the first incident that, like, they get exposed to Umbrella's evil and the fact that the and the fact that the RPD and all this other shit that's going on in the in Raccoon City. Oh. And um, if you were wondering, this is basically the style of gameplay that the original Resident Two Resident Evil Two was, with the fixed camera angles and moving around like that, like. The third person perspective is definitely new for that particular for that particular game. Most of the games were like the original games were all like this. Yeah, and you get to play and you get to see Jill, who Jill is one of the most underutilized protagonists in the Resident Evil franchise cuz she's only like a main character in one, two, three of the many many games and only in like two other games in the franchise, I believe. These six cameras would kill me. Um, you get used to them eventually. The main problem is, like, the... The cam... It's not the cameras themselves that would really kill you that much. It's the fact that, like, you have to understand that, like, say... Okay, say I'm going... Say I'm going, like, using... I'm hitting down on the arrows in order to go down. Uh, but the camera angle changes so it looks like you're going up. As long as you keep... Um, you have to, like, understand that, like, start moving to go up again would then just take you back. It's... It's kind of confusing. But, um, I think you get the hang of it eventually. I mean, the best the best part is, the, the on the bright side, you really don't have to, like, aim. I mean, you have to, like, aim, kind of, like, to make sure you're hitting the, the body. But, like, you just, uh, you just shoot at the guys and you hope for a, a critical hit. Um, you can kind of cheap up, you can, you can kind of, like, cheese a critical hit with a shotgun by waiting till the last moment before a zombie grabs you to shoot them in their head. And that'll permanently kill them, which you need to do in this game because, um... Zombies in this game don't stay dead after you kill them. If you don't burn their bodies, you end up having a situation where they'll come back as crimson heads, which are faster and stronger and harder and, and stronger. They are easier to kill, though. It's just, yeah, like, yeah, like, as long as you, like, that entire time for all those camera angles I just did, Taylor, I was hitting the up arrow, but, like, just watch this. So I'm going to hit down the entire way. So now I'm still hitting down. I'm still hitting down. Like, you just gotta, like, know that, like, you can't, like, don't change the cameras every, don't change your directional keys every time the camera angle changes. Otherwise, it will screw you up. And before we go out, I actually need to take a quick bio break. I didn't realize how much water I drank beforehand. I will be right back. Sorry about that interruption. Um, they'll definitely mess with you. Uh, you get used to it, and I believe if you actually look in controls, you can actually, uh, change them, change them so that they're different, so that instead of, like, the way I'm doing it, you can do the original tank controls. But, you'd, you'd eventually get used to it. The problem is you'd probably just die a few times. But, we are back. But honestly, like, of all the Resident Evil games I've played, this probably has some of the most gorgeous things because uh what you'll notice taylor is um the only 3d mo there's a couple there's 3d models on here but most of this is pre-rendered 2d so that that way they can have this insane amount of detail and present this really creepy mansion and not have to um, work the hardware too much because this game first came out in 2002 and the hd remaster of it really only touched up what was already there All right, what do we... I forgot. Courtyard. Let's grab what's in the courtyard. And keep the arrow off. Only problem is if you're playing mouse and keyboard, you also get, like, an arrow that will not leave. So I just gotta be careful about that. But I don't really need my... I don't really need my mouse at all until I... Let's see, where do I... Where does this lead again? I, need, I wanna go courtyard. Can't do anything with that just yet. That way is locked, but I can grab what's in here. 
Yeah, random arrow. It's it's annoying. Let's grab all the other stuff that's in here. Like an herb. And another herb. Got some herb. Yeah, also only having eight slots at maximum can be rough too. Okay, that works. That worked better than I thought it would. But that's done. I can't go any of that because I need like a crank pulley system right here. So this area is basically donezo for me, the courtyard. I fought like three dogs in this area. It was not fun. But there are some definite jump scares in here that would probably get you pretty good, Taylor. A lot of them are things jumping through windows and uh, things just suddenly being there that weren't there before and all that stuff. Oh, and a giant snake. Because, of course, it's a giant snake. Okay, what was that one thing again? There was a... See, it seems to... Found, kind of signpost each direction to cut and go. So, I remember this from last time. So, there's two... Oh, there are spiders in this game, too. Um, there are two Cerberus heads at the very bottom. One has blue gem eyes. One has red gem eyes. And I believe the blue gem one is destruction. And the revenge... And the red gem one is revenge. And I have to stop these arrows on their thing. So... Switch here, press it, no. And then destruction was... Destruction was north. Okay. Look at this gorgeous environment. Like, look at this. Like, you can, you can see some of the age on it, but like, you can tell, and you can tell that this is like a 2D image, um, overlaid, underlaid under a thumb, Jill's 3D model. But it's still really impressive. And that opened those doors, which I will probably regret. Because why would we want to go outside the mansion when... In my last stream, a radio thing. By the way, the last 25 minutes of my last stream are completely uh, not there. Are not like I was muted the whole time. I didn't realize I was muted the whole time. Uh, I don't like. I don't like this. Ow! Ow! Are the crows gonna fucking fight me now? Ow! They are. Ow! They are. Ah! They are. Ah! Ah! They are. Ah! Bad birds. You wanna go? You wanna go? Ah! Ow! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! You're still alive? Ah! Ah! No! Ow! Ah! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Ah! They are literally hurting me. Oh, there's something carved in the indentation. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? Oh, God. that's This is the symbol I need. There's something written in the indentation here. When the wind sweeps across the earth, star shall sign on the heavens. Okay, so that's where I need to go with this. Will you go away? Go away, birds! I don't like you. Go away. Ah, God. God, that's annoying. Birds. Why you gotta do that? Ugh. Ah, I don't like that there are just birds there. And I wasted bullets, too. But now we know that there's something I can put that wind 
thing from, so I'll go grab that real quick. Backtracking, 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 backtracking. we go because that way I can put the thing in the indentation and hopefully not deal with the birds I need to get a better healing item too Oh well. Oh well. If I die to those stupid birds, at least I'll know what's coming. And I'll have all the progress I need for later. Uh, so, the reason I don't go down that door again is because it keeps talking about how, like, um, it could collapse if, I, if like, the, the door handle could break if I try opening it from down there. So that's why I don't just don't do the door I was down there before. Um, and that's why I just take this long route around. Because I might need that escape route at some... I might need that escape route at some point. It's better to have it and not need it. Alright, Jill. All right, and we're back. Not sure why I want to leave the, the estate. At least in the estate, I have room. I have safe rooms. I don't even know if I have a safe room anywhere nearby for um, for when I leave and go to the middle of the forest. This could be bad news, like really bad news. All right, so my goal is to just run and avoid the burbs. Avoid the burbs, 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 avoid the burbs. Right, I need to I need to do this. Crests are fitted. Will you take the moon crest? Yes. Crests are fitted, you'll take the sun crest. Star crest, I mean. Will we take the sun crest? Yes. 
All right, let's go inside here and examine them. So they have two, this one has two bars. The moon crest has two bars, horizontal, uh, vertical. The sun crest has a crossbar, the star crest has a crossbar. And the moon, and the sun crest has three horizontal bars. So, okay. There's something in the indentations. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? <laughs> out, no, no, get, get out of here, get out of here. So I wanna go use. There's a button, will you press it? Yes. Okay, there are two projecting lines. Okay, good. Combine. There, there's a button on the back, press that. And then finally this one. Yes. Why did it spin around like that? Okay. got <gasps> a magnum yes a gun has been placed inside will you take the magnum revolver yes 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 a thousand times yes the magnum is one of the best guns in the game move 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 move, move, move. bye bye birdies oh that is Uh, what was that? What was that? What was that? I heard a cry or a moan. I don't like this area. A large statue stands silently in the darkness. I don't like this area at all. God, this is creepy. Oh god, there's just a cabin up here. What have I gotten myself into? Why couldn't I just stay in the mansion? This is just a bad idea all around. Ooh! Herb. And skulls? I'm honestly not sure. Yes. And you. And combine. So I have some room. Is that all? That is everything in here. Uh, there's a house. A creepy-ass house in the middle of the woods. Hello? Hello? <laughs> and there was a moaning sound earlier, and I am not looking forward to this. Oh. Oh, there's a typewriter and an item box in here. That's not what I expected in a place as, hor as horrifying as this. What's this? There's a map of the courtyard. Take it. Yes. Okay, so that's all the other areas I have left to do is the courtyard. You got the map of the courtyard. A crude bed. It looks like no, it, no one's used it in a long time. Um, I don't like that it gives me an angle. From here, you've got to give you the entrance cabin. I don't like that that's a thing. There's an item box in here, too? Where? I don't see, I don't see an item box. Oh, there it is. Let's store you. Let's store the magnum for right now, too.
And I know it's only half I know it's only been half an hour, but I'm gonna use another one of my I'm gonna use another one of my uh thingies. My uh you know what the, the, the things. You know the things. These things. Cause I don't trust this area to not be horrifying soon. A family picture. A family picture and some notes, my dearest Lisa. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attached first. Mom attached skunt. Inside red and slimy. White and hard. Not true mom wear. Dunno dad. Found mom again. When attached mommy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you. It's an old typewriter. Save your progress. Yes. I don't like this. There's some crazy person in the woods. I think I know who it is. Because... Just, like, cultural osmosis and gaming osmosis and all that shit. Like, I just know who this is, who it is. And I'm not happy that they're, that I'm already here. If that's the case. Oh, that's... Ugh. I take the crank? Yes. That's why they have the save room, because there's going to be something coming up now. Holy shit! Ah! 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 A crude bed. It looks like there's nobody in using a long time. Uh, what? 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 What do I do? 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 I, I just saw something. Oh god. Ow. I just got I just got taken out. <laughs> Please tell me I have all my weapons still. Oh no. Oh no, that's That's not pleasant. That's not pleasant at all. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? She's just here. Do I shoot her? Ow. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Bye. Bye, lady. No, get the fuck out of here, Jill. Uh, I don't like that. You had like a bag of paint of like a bag mask made of skin. You had like a bag mask made of skin and tentacle things coming out of her. And I'm getting the hell out of here. And going to the crank. I heard mo- I heard cries of something- of some sort- No! I don't want to go back up! For fuck's sake, just let me go down the way I want to go. Are there gonna be zombies now here? Yes, there are. Alright, easy solution. I- Easy solution, walk around him. You have a lovely day, sir. Let's... I never have to go that way again. I never have to go that way again. I never have to go that way again. So they can all just go die. And I'm gonna deal. And I'm gonna run from these birds. Cause this area is no longer needed. Okay. So that area is done. The next area I want to go is get the crank. Is 
is to put the crank in the one thing to drain the pool, I think. This is what this is what I need to do. God, that she that lady was unsettling. Sorry, that's kind of an understatement, I know. Oh wait, no, that's... Oh yeah, this is the way I want to go. This is the way we go to work, go to work, go to work. This is the way we go to work so early in the morning. But yeah, I think I came across Lisa Tre Lisa Trevor because we've had a couple of her audio of the audio logs with her, not audio logs, but like you know what I mean. And it seems like she has survived the awful, awful things that were done to her. Okay, so I must have to. The end is shaped like a square. Yeah, so I should be able to put you in it, right? Why can't I? It's a square crank. It's a square-shaped hole. Why am I not able to? There's a square-shaped hole here. So why am I not able to use it? There we go. Finicky positioning. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Okay, so the crank is still useful. So it looks like it wants me to go around. Crank is still useful, otherwise it would have told me um, I can drop it. But this isn't suspicious at all. It's not. There's not going to be a monster of some sort that jumps out of here, at, jumps out of the water at um, when, on my return trip because this game totally wouldn't do something like that. Being, you know, one of the foundational texts of modern um, um, survival horror. Down we go. Into hell. Because that's the only... Or, sorry, another circle of hell. Oh, God. I don't want to deal... I don't want to deal with you buzzards anymore. There are blue herbs growing here. You don't need to use them now. Um... That, that's not reassuring. That's not reassuring in the slightest. So there's a green herb over there. There's a waterfall of some sort. Let's check and see what this area is. That leads to another building over here. And a red herb. Okay, I'll pick up the red herb here. Is that everything here? Yes, it is. So, I'll pick up the red herb here. I'll grab the green herb in there. Fighting off any buzzards. Or crows, I should say. Okay, that's everything in there. Let's combine you. Snacks! Snacks! Ah, snacks! Shit, snacks! I don't like snacks! Okay. Ah! Ah! Go away! I don't. Ah! More snacks! So many six. Why are there so many snacks? 
I don't like it. How many more are gonna drop from the ceiling on me, assholes? They just, they, they just, like, they just dropped. I, that was just weird. <laughs> it was, uh, but whatever. There's a nice, strange, mysterious house that I can now deal with the residents of this one. Game, stop giving me those camera angles. I hate it when you do that. There's a blue herb here. I'll combine that with one of these boys. To get a mixed herb. Ah, oh, God, this place is a nightmare. But is it a nightmare with a save room in it? Yes! Ah, oh, safe room, safety room. I am glad for you. Can't carry any more, okay. All right. The shelves contain buckets and rope. The rope looks freshly cut. And a stun battery. Is there a box? Please tell me there's a box. There's a box and kerosene. Very nice. Something tells me I'm gonna need that. Uh, let's store you. Let's store you. And let's store the crank too for right now, because I don't know if I actually... I don't know when I'm gonna need it, but I'll probably need it in this place sometime. And then let's grab these other ink ribbons. I have like 13 saves now. I'm hoping thir I don't need to use this the, um, this 13 um, saves 13 more times, but you never know. That should be everything in here, right? Okay, it is. All right, so I know that I can retreat back here if I need to, because nothing will come in here. Lock the door plate reads zero zero one. There's a box of some sort. Okay, what did pushing that box accomplish? I have no idea actually. Let's check this door. And I'm out! <laughs> I just saw the spider and I'm like, and I'm out! Um, hey, Taylor, you see that? <laughs> ah! Ah! A plant! Ah! Ah! Oh, God! There's a plant, too! And it hurt! Ow! Asshole plant! Ow, 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 ow! Okay, can't go that way just yet. I will actually, I will, I was actually in my own battle, so I missed the spider hawk. Can't say I'm upset by that. It was just literally crawling above me on the ceiling, and then a tentacle came out of a different floor and touched me, and touched me there, and that was not fun. Uh, you. Get your ass out here. Use. Okay. You know what? I have 13 saves. I don't really care about my grade. I just want to get through the game with and enjoy myself in my way. I'm going to use another save to not deal with all the other stuff I just d dealt with. it's just a good idea every time you access a new save point to just save at least one more uh, save once so I don't want to deal with um, so I don't want to deal with a tentacle again so what I'm gonna do is go into the room with the spider yeah my options are so great when I when I have to deal between a tentacle that just auto damages me every time I pass and a spider that the size of a the size of like a go-kart. 
Oh, I see. I am the dumb. Okay, I am still the dumb. Ow! God, game, come on. Game. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Screw that. I'm not wasting resources on that. I'm not, ra I'm not wasting resources on that, because that's bullshit. Fear can't kill you, but... Everything else can, is the takeaway. Let's try that again, asshole game. I misjudged where the hole was going to be. Can it pass through? Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Never mind. If you want to avoid it, you gotta do the... I think you gotta, like, get up there, then you can climb. So, I was also... I was still dumb. Can I do this? You wanna fucking attack me? Still gonna attack me? No, it's not. Screw you, game. I beat you. Okay, what room is this? A long-ass hallway. Because, of course... There doesn't seem to be anything useful. Thanks, game. Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. So whoever, so whatever was going on here, they knew that we were going to be coming because all these are about stars. Okay, that's just the same thing. So this door is closed. It's locked. The door plate reads gallery. 102. There's a map of the residence. Take it? Yes. That's an obvious trap. Oh, this is a big area. This is a very big area. Oh. You got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. You see a giant beehive. Ah! Bees! Bees! Not the bees! Come on. Ow! Come on. Game. Don't fuck with me. Ow! Ow! Stop it, game. Ah, God. So many bees. I saw a giant beehive, and then I got screwed over. Thanks, game. Thanks. I, I feel really loved. So Barry is talking with a mysterious someone. I wonder who it could be. Let's go say hi to them. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I 
think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Um, Barry, there's a, there's things Don't out worry. there. I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Easy for you to say, you have a magnum. I mean, I have a magnum too, but... Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host's, host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its appear original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We also found that Plant 42 has two main s sources of acquiring its nutri necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down in the, into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. Our key, one, key, one witness reported that it was as if being try, it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Starton. So a few months before this. Also, fun fact, this is probably the original plant of the plant you see in the nest in Resident Evil 2 that, like, you have to get the you have to get the, uh, the code key from. The guy who was, like, crushed up against the wall from it. Okay, so this room is donezo. There's a door over here. What's this? Will you take residence key? Ooh, to unlock all the doors. Joy. Is this all that's all in here? Yeah, that's all that's in here. In this creepy ass bathroom. Now this Um I heard something in there. I'm just not gonna stay inside this area for right to deal with it so what else is there that I can go to 